Did you do anything different with it? Yeah. We'll get two emails. And then, I mean, it looks like it's... Woo! Get yours working too? I'm so old. Oh, uh, without that, uh... <laughs> This is the darker blue and this is like a lighter blue. All right, I'm here at the mall. It is pretty packed right now, but I'm here because the new iPhone 15 Pro just came out. I have an appointment in 15 minutes. Let's see how packed it's gonna be. Hopefully it's not too bad because the iPhone 15 isn't like a huge, huge upgrade. So I'm hoping there's not a long line. And since I have a reservation, hopefully I can just go in and out real fast. As soon as I get to the Apple store, the line is already long. And within 10 minutes, more people started lining up behind me. But after five more minutes, I finally make it to the front of the line and someone comes and gets me. It's real slow today, isn't it? After she confirms my phone, she takes me to another table where I need to transfer all the stuff from my old phone to the new phone since I'm on the Apple Upgrade program. Oh, I'm doing good right now, yeah, thank you. Now comes a long process of transferring everything over. I was gonna say, like, if you, you should be getting a, a pick up a case and whatnot, but if you're not getting a phone, I guess. Because like, it comes with a like, long cable. Because I was gonna say cable, but it comes with all that, so. Oh my gosh. I don't, I'm surprised they didn't tell you to upgrade. <laughs> An hour passes by when I run into a problem. Uh, I'm trying to transfer my phone number and uh how many times have you tried it so far? Uh this is the second time. The first time it told me to update the software first and then it made me do it again. Well, so I just try to do it again. Yeah, try one more time. Okay. Okay. Adapter for anything Who's the carrier? Uh, AT&T. Okay. Yeah. And you transferred on the old one to uh, what? What's your old phone? Which one is your old phone? This one, uh, the 14 Pro. Oh. Do we get two emails? Do we have Apple Care twice? The, 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 second, the second one. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I know, right? For some reason, my number would not transfer over to the new phone. But it seems like other AT&T users are having the same problem. But an Apple employee did say another guy who was on AT&T kept trying and eventually it worked. Did it? Did he get it work? Okay, so he just kept on trying and trying. Yeah. Okay. Did he do anything different? Did you do anything different with it? They don't do it automatically. Like the third time popped up saying, put in your phone number and use a code. Yeah. And then she texted me a code that I put in it. So they don't do it through. So just keep trying. All right. Fingers crossed. Then. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, you, uh, you can't connect your uh, transfer your phone either. No. I... Yeah. He said it failed the first couple of times, and then he kept trying it, and it eventually worked. But it's a, it's a known AT&T. So if it works for him, 
it's gotta work for me. So I didn't give up and I kept on trying. Yeah, I'm getting it again. I'll keep trying though. Okay. While I was trying, a fan named Ibrahim came up and said what's up and he was super dope. And he said he's getting the iPhone tomorrow actually. <laughs> you think up iPhone? No, I couldn't do it. I said I couldn't do it. Oh, really? Hey, yeah, I'm trying to get the iPhone right now. But... Shortly after that, I call AT&T to see if they can help transfer my number over manually. And then... So, what we're going to have to do is go in. So, you can get another world. So, um, I called AT&T and then they sent me a link to manually... Um, transfer my number so I had to go into my AT&T account and then I mean it looks like it's Ooh, it worked <laughs> I'm so happy to see that <laughs> that's the best thing I've seen all day yeah yours working too <laughs> this oh, I'm still on hold with them oh, with that, okay. after two hours I finally got my number transferred and now I'm walking out happy with my new iPhone so I got to the Apple store at 12 45 1 45 so I've been at the Apple store for two hours had some issues transferring the number but now Finally, we're going back, going to a Best Buy because Brian asked me to pick up something for him, see if it's in stock. If not, then we're heading home after two and a half hours just sitting there hoping this thing would work. But we finally got it going. Uh, it's clean, not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty clean. We'll take a closer look once I get home. I have no case, no screen protector, so I gotta be careful with this thing. Oh. Woo! Okay, I am back. That was... That was a journey to get this phone. It took like two hours to get it. It was a long time. It would have gone smoothly if my phone number would have just transferred over just like everyone else was doing. But uh, I guess AT&T was on something. And everyone that was on AT&T actually had the same issue. They couldn't transfer their numbers. So I had to actually call AT&T. They sent me a whole link. I had to blah, blah, blah. That took a while. And then just backing up everything, uploading everything, restoring everything took another like hour and a half. I don't know how long. It was wild. One lady was there for for, she was saying about five hours. I was like, <laughs> that is prayers to you, prayers to you. But yeah, let's just, let's get into the phone. Let's just go over real quick the differences between this and the iPhone 14 Pro, which I gotta say, there's only a couple things to be honest. So first off, you have obviously the big thing this year is changing all the lightning ports to a USB-C port. And then on the side, instead of a volume rocker button or a switch, I guess you can call it, it's just a button. But the button's like an action button now. Boom. So you just have to hold the button. And then now in the settings, you have different options. So you can do it to like silent mode, night mode, um, camera, flashlight, voice memo, so on and so forth. You can even map different applications it can, it can open up. So you can also have no action, which if that's the case, what's the point of having a button there? Overall design, I gotta say compared to the iPhone 14, this is a little more rounded on the edges. The iPhone 14 was a little bit sharper. If I can get that to focus, there we go. I don't know if you can really tell. And obviously it is made out of titanium this year, so it is, it, it is a lot lighter to be honest. And then with the camera, the only thing they upgraded I believe is just you can optically zoom 5x now instead of 3x. And that's the only difference with the camera. And then I think some, you know, a little bit better low light capabilities, but other than that, camera's about the same. Big three is just the USB-C port, titanium body, and uh, the volume switch is now gone. But other than that, it's pretty much the same phone. I do like the blue. Blue is nice. It's not as blue as I want. It's more of like a dark blue, almost like a gray, dark gray blue. Still cool though. Better than my last phone because my iPhone 14 Pro Max was uh, was purple because that was the only color they had. So I'm happy getting the blue this year. So if you're also looking at some cases, if you like blue, these are the two blues they had. This is the darker blue and this is like a lighter blue. There's the light blue case with the phone. And then here is the dark blue case on the phone. I'll probably be switching back and forth. And also on one of these, I'm gonna add like a pop socket, not a pop socket, but something like that on my old case, which I don't know if I brought, actually hold on. Yeah, so on my old case, it's the same silicone. I had this case for ever since I got the iPhone 14. So for a year, I mean, you can see that it's literally just like all this ripping apart. So it's super, it's super thin. I really like this one. It is like plasticky, you think it's gonna break, but honestly, this has held up for about seven months just to stand. It hasn't ripped off, it hasn't snapped or anything. You would think it would because it's literally just like kind of thin plastic, but it's pretty intuitive. Like I can have a kickstand, but the thing I love about this, it's just so thin. 
So it doesn't interfere with MagSafe, um, it doesn't interfere with my wireless charging in my Tesla, which is great because a lot of uh, like pop sockets are way too thick. You have to take off the, the phone and whatnot, it gets annoying. So definitely gonna add one of these to one of these cases. I don't know which one just yet, but hey. The one bad thing though, I will say is I have so many lightning cables. Now I can't use any of them. And there you have it, that is the phone itself. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It's a shorter vlog, I just wanted to show you guys kind of the whole process of getting an iPhone. And it took a lot longer than I thought. I thought there was gonna be not that many people, but there were a lot of people. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace!